Step by step, open hemorrhoidectomy for grade 4 circular hemorrhoids. 55 year old patient placed in a lithotomy position who has circular stage 4 hemorrhoids with the prominent cushions located in typical sites left lateral, right anterior, and right posterior. The right anterior hemorrhoidal complex is grasped with the Alice clamp. A triangular incision of the anodum at its base is performed with monopolar electrosurgery device, stopping at the external anal margin. A downward traction of the hemorrhoid is applied, followed by subsequent careful dissection between the tissues of the external hemorrhoid plexus and the fibres of the external anal sphincter towards the pedicle. At the level of the transition zone, anal mucosa and submucosa are divided with ligature in the direction of the pulse pedicle. The wound is made narrower. Further dissection plane lies between the fibres of the internal anal sphincter and the tissue of the internal hemorrhoidal plexus. Ligature is applied from both sides of the hemorrhoid cushion to cut mucosa and submucosa until the hemorrhoid pedicle is reached. Extra care is taken to ensure that the internal sphincter muscles are left intact. With the jaws of the device applied perpendicular, the pedicle is divided. When assessing the size of the defect, the maximum width of the wound in the distal part is 2 cm. Then, the previously described steps are repeated with the right lateral complex. We mark the excision line of the anodum at the base of the left lateral complex. The mucocutaneous bridge between the two wounds is preserved. And the surgeon continuously controls this with his index finger. The size of the excisional wound should be equal to or less than the width of the mucocutaneous bridge to prevent stricture. The same procedure is performed for the right posterior hemorrhoidal pile. First, monopolar electrosurgery and then ligature small jaw open sealer are used to dissect the hemorrhoidal pile of the external and internal sphincters. Combination of two devices results in bloodless and precise excision and absence of suture in the anal canal. It is important that the jaws of the device are applied perpendicular to the pedicle to finish excision of this hemorrhoidal complex. The wound is inspected to ensure satisfactory hemostasis. The size of the removed hemorrhoidal cushion is approximately 2 cm. The width of mucocutaneous bridge is 2 cm. These are the pre-operative and post-operative pictures of the patient. In one month, good wound healing was achieved and the patient did not complain of prolapse or anal bleeding.